proposal will be Proposal G as in GOAT on page 15 in the platform report. Hey, thank you. Um, proposal G is a proposal to add a new plank entitled sex work. It would be to section two is where it would be placed before the current plank 2.8. And the way this new plank is proposed to read is, we oppose regulations and laws that restrict consenting adults from engaging in sexual activity or regulate the production, use, or sale of sexually explicit material involving consenting adults. This has become an issue lately that we do believe deserves special attention, that our position does entail that the commercial exchange of sexual products and services is not market different than any other exchange on the market between free individuals. Presenting the first by, uh, just to remind everybody how this is all going to work. The majority report's been presented. There are two minority reports on this proposal. The first minority report will be presented by Mr. Starr. The second minority report will be presented by Mr. Perry. After the, all of the reports have been presented, we will then proceed to five minutes of debate and a vote up or down on the majority report. If the majority report passes, then we will not proceed to any consideration of the minority reports in debate. Two minutes, what, sorry. So my understanding is that, that we will have presentations of each of the minority reports, five minutes of debate on the majority report, we will vote for it or against it. If we vote against it, then we go back to debate on which proposal to consider. Does that make sense to everybody? Are there any questions of order? If there are not, Mr. Starr. Thank you. We agree that sex work should not be treated any differently than any other profession out there. We also believe that it shouldn't be a separate plank all by itself in the platform. There are many professions out there. The only profession that we would be mentioning in our entire platform if we adopt this is sex work. So we think that it's more appropriate to uh, place it elsewhere. So what we propose, and I don't know if it's up on the, is it on the screen right now? Is is, the, is it on the screen? Thank you. So what we propose is that it be referenced in two pre places in our platform. One, under crime and justice, we have uh, the sentence that would read in the middle, it will say, therefore we favor the repeal of all laws creating crimes without victims where the participants are consenting adults, such as with gambling, the use of drugs for medicinal or recreational purposes, and transactions involving sexual services. So we want to put that there. It's a list of several uh, crimes without, quote unquote, crimes without victims. And then in marketplace freedom, in 2.7, we want to change the first sentence so it says, libertarian support free markets, and we would add comma, so we oppose regulations and laws that restrict adults from engaging in any transaction absent the use of force or fraud. So we want to make that clear, because right now we just simply say that libertarian support free markets, it's sort of implied that, uh, you, know, you know, that would mean that we wouldn't have regulations, but we never actually state that per se. So, uh, so in summary, we don't want a separate plank for any profession out there. You wouldn't have a separate plank for hair braiders that don't have cosmetology licenses, right? We have a plank that deals now with licensing. Uh, you wouldn't have a separate plank for uh, bookies. We just need to have the concept, the big principles. It's not the first time. It's Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Starr. Mr. Perry. Uh, making sure that the AV has it so you can see the proposal. Mr. Perry. Yes, uh, so there have been two, if you look at page 18, 
in your book. There is a minority report that is being withdrawn. There is a supplemental handout that you should have at your seat that was passed out yesterday at lunch. This is the minority report that is being proposed. Uh, and this is the minority report that I am speaking on. This minority report was written by sex workers. This was not written by people that just support sex worker rights. This was written by sex workers. And there's not a war on hair braiders. There's not a war on electricians, but the federal government has declared war on sex workers. The federal government recently passed SESTA and FOSTA that says that any website operator that allows five people to advertise prostitution will be convicted of sex trafficking. Sex trafficking and consensual sex work are not the same thing. We need a strongly worded plank advocating in favor of sex worker rights. What came out of the committee was not strong enough and was almost indistinguishable from 1.4 personal relationships. Vote no on the majority. Vote yes on minority report number two. I have a privileged motion, Mr. Chair. Uh, privileged motion at microphone number two. Jim Fulner, our made of Michigan. I'd like to suspend the rules so as to take up s second minority report at this time. Uh, That's not privileged. It, it's not actually a privileged motion, well, but I will I tell you that it's not going to go anywhere either. I, you want me to ask? It's, the, not privileged, it's not privileged, so you're taking you're taking someone else's spot. Um, I'm actually going to start at microphone three. John Phillips from Illinois. I am going to stake, speak against the majority report. I have reached out to the sex worker experts in this room and in our, in our party, and they all agree that the second minority report is a much, much more appropriate version. And so I am going to support the experts that we have. Thank you. Thank you. Mike? Uh, sorry, microphone one, is that a privileged motion, Mr. Hinkle? Yes. Mark Hinkle, California. Historically, has the Libertarian Party platform contained a plank, and plank on sex and prostitution specifically? Did we used to? I, we had a sexual rights plank at some point. All right, uh, microphone one. I'm also speaking against. Uh, Oh, is there anyone wishing to speak in favor of the majority report? Uh, microphone two, Miss, please identify yourself. David Valente, putting the wild and wild, wonderful West Virginia. Uh, I speak for, for the uh, main motion because I believe that the second one does contain uh, almost a poison pill where it doesn't delineate consenting adults uh, at the beginning. Uh, so this one, I think, represents the, the full sense of the body and uh, should be the plank that, or the, the platform plank that we put forward to, uh, for our uh, position on sex work. Thank you. Um, I've had a request as a point of personal privilege. If somebody can bring a chair to the stage for the platform committee chair, that would be appreciated. Uh, microphone number one. Mr. Chair, Arvind Vora, delegate from Pennsylvania. I'm tempted to say that, the, that this is something simple, that we can go with the basic principle that I've been trying to espouse for, for over a year, which is that we need to reject respectability politics. We need to go for our actual principles. We need to be willing to say things like sex work is work and government work is theft. I'm speaking against this motion, not because I don't like it, but because I like the second, ver the second minority report better. The simple fact is, sex workers have been vilified, they have been treated like garbage by our government, they have been treated worse than any group of any kind, while at the exact same time, our government and culture has been lionizing and heroizing people who are literally living off of theft, I 100% believe that it is time for the Libertarian Party to back up those who need our help, so I will 100% be supporting the second minority report. Point of information. There's a request for information at microphone number two. 
Mark Quantoni um, from Colorado. Can we reduce the print size so that we can fit all three versions on the screen at the same time? It, it's actually, it's actually a, re, it's a, no, you're right, it is a request for information. M Madam Secretary, is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe she will do it if it is doable, and if it is not doable, then it will not be done. Uh, if by show of hands, people at the microphones, who would like to speak in favor of the majority report? Okay, um, I'm going to go to microphone two. Please identify yourself for the uh, behind you, sir. Are you in favor of the majority report? Yes. Behind you. Report. Yanni Doko, Phoenix, Arizona. I'm speaking in favor of the majority report because the second minority report here I see, it has this language that we recognize uh, it could be a lucrative industry for millions of Americans. Now, we as libertarians, you can do what you want with your life. So, and just a point of information, Mr. Doko, that was the report that was in the binder. There is actually a supplemental report that does not include that language. Do you wish to continue to speak on this? No, I'm okay, okay. with this language. Is there... All right. Um, we're going to microphone two. The gentleman has been waiting so patiently. Nathan Watts from Texas. I call the question. Uh, but, sorry, point of information first. I uh, go ahead. To, just, to, just to ask. I understand that we will first vote on the majority report, and afterwards there will be debate over which minority report we vote on. Is that correct? That is correct. Thank you. All right. Is there objection to closing debate at this time and moving the previous question? Hearing no objection to that, we will move the previous question. The vote will be on whether or not to adopt the majority report. If you vote yes on this, then we will, it will be adopted. We'll move on to the next proposal. If you vote no on this, then we'll proceed to a debate about which minority report to consider and then move along through our process. Does everyone understand? Are there any questions before we start? All in favor of the majority report, please rise. All right, you can sit down. All in favor, uh, all opposed, please rise. It fails. We'll now move to debate. Give me one second to double check our times. Okay, my understanding is we will now proceed to five minutes of debate on which minority report to consider, and then we'll proceed back to the normal platform rule uh, in Rule 5 in your convention rules. Are there any questions? Seeing no questions, we'll proceed. Wait. Uh, sorry, there's a request for information at microphone number three. Uh, during the debate between these two proposals, would it be in order to submit amendments or not? It is not in order to submit amendments to the two proposals during that debate, because that debate is between which proposal to consider. Amendments would have to be taken up in the normal platform rule, which is the section three, not the section four, that we won't get to until we pick between the minority reports. So this is not considered a substitute motion under Roberts? It is not. Substitute motion will be out of order at this time. Okay, thank you. You're okay. All right. Moving on to debate and going in the order I was going, microphone number three. Uh, so I'm speaking in favor of the uh, second. Just tell people who you are, Jason. Sorry, Jason Weinman from Nevada, the only state with legal sex work. <clears throat> For now, um, and, and I think being from Nevada, it's really clear how important, uh, how important legalization is. Uh, within Nevada, there are counties where sex work is not legal, and the difference in the treatment of sex workers and life outcomes for sex workers between Clark County where it's illegal and most of the rest of the state is dramatic. Um, and I think Aaron's argument that it, it doesn't need its own plank because there are many, you know, many industries which are heavily regulated or in some cases even outlawed 
and why should we have a specific plank for this one industry is kind of contrary to his own minority report where he calls out the same industry by name. Uh, so I'm speaking in favor of the second minority report. I think we, it's, good, it's good language. I think we should adopt it. And uh, yeah, that's all. All right. Is there anyone who wishes to speak in favor of the first minority report? Show a hand. All right, uh, I'm gonna go to microphone number two, and I think um, whoever was in line first, Ms. go ahead. Eva Kaczynski from Colorado. Um, one of the things we just finished voting on is that we believe in individual rights, and we are now sort of talking about group rights. And I don't think we can consider any of this without thinking about that. Um, I'd prefer to see it tabled and have the committee take it back and come up with something that will keep it in tune with the fact that we don't like group rights. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> microphone one to speak in favor of the second minority report. Or, or just microphone one if you have something else to say, go ahead. I would, I would just like to submit that we uh, call a vote on the second uh, minority You have report. to identify yourself oh, first. Sorry. It's kind of a thing with me. Sorry. Grady Hayden, State of Montana. All right. And you move the previous question? Yes. All right. Is there any objection to ending debate at this time? Objection. There's objection. All in favor of ending debate, say aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. I, I, I'm going to, tie goes to the runner. We're going to continue debate. Microphone two. Mike Shipley, delegate from Arizona. Um, I rise to speak in favor of Minority Report 2. So uh, the Libertarian Party has always led the way on fighting for gender and sexual minority liberation. And in 2016, we led the way again by moving away from the mainstream acronym toward GSM, Gender Sexual Minorities, which allowed us to embrace a broader range of suppressed sexual behaviors, including sex work, polyamory, and kink behaviors that cross over even into heterosexual spaces. So we are leading the way on standing up for all kinds of people, including sex workers. I do note that the word consenting persons is plural of a singular. So it's a nuance that says we are standing up for individual sex workers. So when we, one of the awarenesses that comes out of um, standing up for minority individuals is that we center the voices of those individuals and we listen to them when they speak for themselves. So I encourage this body to adopt Minority Report 2 because it was written by sex workers for sex workers and we're gonna speak from a place of strength when we listen to our own sex workers. Microphone three. I'm Bennett Rutledge from Colorado. Uh, I would prefer the first minority report's approach simply because it already incorporates the phrase consenting adults uh, and because if we do go with the second minority report approach, we're going to have to do a lot more tweaking than just that. Uh, for one thing, I think we need to acknowledge the health department function of uh, regulating the industry because I'm because I am clear that germ warfare is violence. Taking actions likely to inflict someone else with dangerous, potentially deadly diseases is violence. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Rutledge. If it's intentional. Microphone one. I speak in favor of minority uh, one. Who are you? Sean Brown, delegate from Pennsylvania. So I'm speaking in favor of minority report number one. Is that in order? Yes, it's in order. I'm um, just going in order of microphones okay. now. So I personally prefer the first minority report because the language is gentler. It doesn't sacrifice anything on account of principle. And I'm personally of the bent that the party should market itself with a principled approach. But I also think we can be a little bit more tactful about it. And I think Minority Report 1 achieves the same point of putting a sex work plank in the platform, but not as a separate item that I'm pretty sure the other parties will use to ridicule us because we're probably the only party that will have it. I'm not opposed to that, but from a tactical standpoint, I support Minority Report number 1. Thank you. 
Time has expired on debate between the minority reports. Is there a motion to extend? Uh, at a microphone, Ms. number two. Uh, Nathan Watts, Texas. I move to extend debate for five minutes. All right, there's a motion to extend for five minutes. There's a second. All in favor of extending for five minutes, say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Sounds like they're ready to vote. <laughs> All right. All in favor of having Minority Report 1 being the one that we consider, please rise. Okay, you guys can sit down. All in favor of having Minority Report 2 be the one we consider, please rise. We will proceed with Minority Report number 2. Uh, point of information. Point of information. No, I've got a motion to amend. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, the language persons to adults. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. Persons to yeah. Adults. Yeah, that's why I'm on. I just I, for. Is motion to suspend privilege? I don't know if it needs to be a suspension. Yeah, for amending. Sorry. Sorry, it takes me a minute to get to where we're at. So I'm going to tell you where we're at, then I'm going to take this point from microphone one. Where we are at now is my. Got a point of inquiry. Uh, I'm going to get to the points of inquiry. Just give me a second. Under the convention rules, we will now move to 15 minutes of debate on Minority Report 2, if required. Think about that. <laughs> and then we'll proceed to a vote. If it's voted in the affirmative, it's adopted. If it's voted in the negative, I think that lets us get into actually amending it if people want to do that. Is everyone kind of clear on that? I'd miss okay. What you said. Now I'm going to start taking privilege or request for information. So I'm going to start with microphone two. Uh, Will McVeigh from Delaware. I didn't catch that. Are we allowed to amend Wait. now, or are we waiting until after the first vote? My no, understanding is we would have to defeat the minority report two. We have to vote minority report two down in order to get back I, to amendments. Is that I, right? I, Wait. Can I? Can I Wait. speak to? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! I don't need people talking. That's my understanding. Is there a question of whether my understanding is correct? Uh, could I move to suspend the rules? Uh, no. Not until I get through all the requests for information. Okay. Okay. Did you have a request for information? That would be my request, is if we motion to suspend the rules to allow amendments at this time, would that be in order? Yes. It is always in order to suspend the rules. It requires two-thirds in order to do it. Make sure you have support before you try and do stuff like this, okay? All right, uh, is there a request for information at microphone one? All right, then we're going to proceed back to regular orders. We are now debating the second minority report. The correct language is on the screen, is that right? Okay, does anyone have a copy of the correct language just so I can read it for people? Um, because I had the wrong one in my binder. Thank you. So it would add a proposal 2.8 that says the Libertarian Party supports the decriminalization of prostitution. We assert the rights of consenting persons to provide sexual services to clients for compensation and the rights of clients and the right of clients to purchase sexual services from consenting sex workers. All right. We're now going to proceed. I'm going to go in my microphone order, microphone one. Joe Bishop Henchman, District of Columbia. I uh, appreciate and, and thank the people who came up with the language of this proposal. I think it's very clean. I think it's very good, um, with one exception. And that's the, you know, the word persons in the second sentence. I think it should read adults. Yep. As the chairs explained, under the current rules, we're not permitted to amend now without suspending the rules. I don't necessarily want to go there. So, uh, but it's a question of whether we would support or defeat the yeah. proposal. I, I did not like the majority proposal. I, I kind of like the approach of the first minority proposal, but I do love the language of the second proposal with the exception of that one word. I don't think that there are a lot of children who are put in terrible situations. None of us support that. I don't want that used against us because we d use the word persons rather than adults. Thank, Thank you. you. Microphone two. Um, as soon as the applause is over, microphone two. Christopher Gill, State of Ohio. I have actually already submitted an amendment that changes the word persons to adults. 
Um, so at this time, I would like to motion to suspend the rules uh, for consideration of the amendment that I have uh, submitted. There's a motion to suspend the rules for the consideration of amendment to change the word persons to adults. It'd be for the amendment, if I can confirm with the secretary, has been submitted. Okay, we, we have it. Um, it's moved and seconded. We would need two thirds to suspend that's, the rules to consider that amendment at this time. All in favor of what? Uh, no, it's a suspension of the rules. It doesn't change any of the time. It just allows us to consider amendments. So we would be in the same 15 minutes that we would normally be under the convention rules. That same time clock would continue. All in favor of suspending the rules in that manner, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed? We will suspend the rules in order to consider the amendment. That is the amendment on the floor. Sir, would you like to speak to your amendment? Um, I'm, I'm going to, sorry, I took a little parliamentary shortcut. Yeah. I just considered it moved and seconded for him to actually make the amendment instead of making him do it a second time. Go ahead. Uh, I'll try and be brief. Um, I think that's the major objective people have here, to be really brief. Do we need to explain it? This is, this is the meme that people see about our party. If we don't put adults, we're going to get beat to death in the media with that ambiguity, um, and that's it. Appreciate it. All right. I'd like to see. Sorry. Thank you. I'd like to see a show of hands. Now that we are on the amendment, we are speaking to the amendment or against the amendment. I'd like to speak against. People who would like to speak against, I need to see hands up. All right. I'm going to take the gentleman at microphone one because he was already in line before you, Mr. Fulner. Go ahead. Roland Reimers from North Dakota. Uh, I like the wording that is, is presently existed there. A trouble with putting an adult, what's an adult? Up to a, not too long ago, 16 years old was a consenting adult. Uh, now it's 18, maybe next year will be 21. Uh, Order I, from you guys in the center. Mr. Reimers, you have the floor. Okay, thank you. Uh, and we, you know, we, I think we're sticking our head uh, in the sand too when we think that 16, 17 year old uh, uh, people are not having sex. I mean, they do all the time. Uh, and I'm quite happy with just using persons and uh, letting you know, later on de define what person is, someone over the age of 16 or whatever. But I see too many people, especially young people, getting in trouble because an 18 year old boy had sex with his. 16-year-old girlfriend, even though we're consenting, that's, uh, let's not stick our heads in the sand and just leave it with persons. It looks fine to me there. All right. Microphone three. Uh, Jason Weinman, speaking in favor of the amendment. Uh, three people, at, at somebody at each microphone was standing up specifically to address this question. Uh, I think it's very clear from, from from first of all, our platform having a plank calling for the protection of children from abuse and neglect, that it's inconsistent with our with our platform and our party and general, you know, the general mores of every pretty much everybody, both in this room and society, uh, to to uh, to not be specifically referring to adults. And there's no reason for us not to make that clear. You know, we're not changing the content. We're not changing the context. We're not doing anything substantive other than clarifying what we mean, and I think it's a, I think it's a very obvious and simple adjustment. Let me go to Mr. Fulner at microphone two. Jim Fulner, Armada, Michigan. The single most oppressed people in the United States are those who are so-called children. Woo! If you are an actual child, then we already know you do not have the ability to consent. As such, consenting persons includes those who are actual children. Utilizing the word adult is utilizing status language. Because regardless of what we in this room mean, those outside of this room assume that we mean only those who meet some arbitrary hardline threshold established by the government are allowed to make their own decisions. It is a poor choice of words for us to change this. I highly recommend you consider, you continue and vote no and allow consenting persons to stand as originally written by our libertarian sex workers. Microphone one. Francis Wendt, uh, delegate from Montana. I stand in uh, support of the amendment 
to uh, the plank that we're considering. Uh, I believe that the delegation should understand uh, that we are, we are debating philosophy of the party. We are not debating specific laws. The more detailed in, uh, that we try to make uh, our planks, the harder it is for candidates to use them to convert and to uh, recruit elect the electorate. So I stand in favor of the amendment. I'm going to go to Mr. Wood at microphone number three. Uh, I think that... Uh, uh, you have to identify yourself. Uh, my name is Jeff Wood from the Michigan delegation. I think the word consenting is enough to imply that we don't support anyone having being a sex worker who's unable or unwilling to consent to that. I think adding ages language into our platform is a big step back. The Libertarian Party has a long history of supporting children's rights, and we need to continue that. Thank you. Microphone two. David Valente from West Virginia. I am speaking in favor of this amendment because I believe that the word persons is a poison pill in this, uh, this plank. Uh, I would rather not have a sex work plank if we, do not, if we continue to keep the word persons in there. Uh, as have been, uh, this point has been made, uh, this plank will be something that our candidates have to run on. And if you want to advocate for children's rights to be consenting in the, the realm of sex, go ahead. As a candidate, that's your right. But this is the party plank. This is what the other uh, partisan political people will pull apart and beat us over the head on. So if you want to advocate for that as a candidate, that's your right. We're not barring you from doing it with this platform. But I don't want our candidates who do not go as far as you do get beat over the head with this. Now you. Microphone three. Matt Chalko, Virginia. Um, our platform deals with the protection of children in another plank that we uh, dealt with yesterday. And as other people have made, ironically, uh, some of them in support of the amendment, um, the word consent already deals with the little kids that are forced into involuntary sex slavery, obviously we don't support that, they cannot consent. But some 16-year-olds may be able to, and the use of the word adult uh, pushes those people out of the, the legal protection we would like them to have. Microphone one. Fred Coulter. Florida. Well, first of all, I think that talking about 16 and 17 year olds is disingenuous when certain party leadership thinks 14 is acceptable. I'm not sure what the lower limit would be. I'm in favor of this amendment because I'm not looking forward to having to help all of my libertarian candidates running and helping them out and saying to people, oh, that party platform, that's not what you think it says, and having to say that to each individual voter to get a libertarian vote. Yes. Microphone point of, two. Point of, point of privilege. Point of uh, privilege, microphone two. Yes, Robert Lombardo, New Hampshire. Mr. Chair, can you please urge the side conversations to either cease or be taken outside? Yes. Thank you. Short memories in this room, but if you have important things to discuss, that's what the hallway is for. Microphone two. Hi, uh, my name is Susan Ruiz from Massachusetts. Um, I feel like a lot of people are talking about, uh, I'm speaking in favor of the amendment, um, I feel like a lot of people are confusing whether or not we want to codify in here um, sex for someone who's underage um, or someone being, who's underage being able to actually engage in sex work. And that's a big difference. Um, we're not talking about whether or not 14-year-olds and 16-year-olds can have sex with each other. And of course they're having sex with each other. What we're talking about is whether or not a 14-year-old, you know, should, the Libertarian Party supports 14-year-olds being prostitutes. That's what we're talking about here. And I think we need to make it explicit that that's not what we're trying to support. Thank you. We have 30 seconds left, microphone three. Child sex work is wrong, vote for the amendment. <laughs> Microphone one. No? Is there any more need for debate? I want to call the question. I, I, okay, well then we'll just move to a vote and we'll save ourselves 20 seconds. All in favor of 
amending the proposal on the floor to change the word persons to adults. Please stand up. You can sit down. All in favor, all opposed to amending the proposal on the floor, please stand up. The amendment passes. Now we will move. Since time has expired on the normal, on the time for debate for this, we will now move to a vote on the amended proposal. Microphone two, is this privileged? Okay. Yes. Um, we'll move to a vote on the amended proposal. A yes vote. We'll adopt this amendment. Point of information. Yes, point of information. Microphone two. Is it within order to make a motion to spin the rules to consider a new amendment? It is, it is in order. However, your motion would be a combined motion because you'd be moving to suspend the rules to extend time for debate for a particular period in order to consider such an amendment. Can you say how long you would like to extend time and for what amendment? And identify yourself. Nathan Watson, Texas. Uh, I could move to suspend for two minutes for an amendment to, instead of making this a new plank, to add it to the end of plank 1.7. So, so you're moving to suspend the rules to extend debate for two minutes to consider an amendment that rather than making this a new plank would add it to the end of 1.7? That's correct. Is there a second for that? Second. All in favor of suspending the rules for that? Say aye. Aye. Opposed? No. We will not suspend the rules for that purpose. Personal privilege. We will now proceed to a debate on the amended proposal. Personal privilege. Is there a, yes, microphone three. Move to suspend the rules for, to add five minutes so we can debate an amendment. Uh, you have to identify yourself first. Colin Nickel from Louisiana, you are correct. Okay. And what amendment would you like to suspend the rules and debate for five minutes? Yes. Uh, no, what, like say add, what the amendment is for the people. I would like to add the words or products behind services in both places. Being okay. as how it, you can be thrown in jail for selling sex toys, sex lotions, anything okay. else. I want to I, add or products. Okay, I can't let you debate it yet, but I think everybody understands. So is there a, is there a second for that? Second, okay. There's a motion to suspend the rules to add five minutes for a debate to consider an amendment that would add or products after services in both places. All in favor of suspending the rules to add those five minutes to consider that amendment, say aye. 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 Opposed? Yay. We will not suspend the rules to consider that amendment. Now, we will proceed to a vote unless there's somebody who needs to be recognized before we do that. Good. All in favor of adopting the amended proposal as seen on the screen, please stand up. You may sit down. All opposed, please stand up. It passes.